Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Bath Tips and Tricks tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how to use boolean string and color variables in Figma using the toggle switch example. So here I'm going to show how to change the toggle text on and off dynamically and how to change the toggle color dynamically using the color variable. So here I have an example. So here this is a simple toggle switch these all are in office days so while tapping on this it is getting on and you can see here this off and while tap on this the color is getting changed so let's start we'll see how to create and how to use different variables in FIFA. So creating a toggle button we need a rectangle. So we'll take here rectangle, change the width. Now we need an ellipse here, so we'll take the ellipse and set the height and width and change the color. So copy this. And change the color. Now we need text. Which will say on and off. Next, going to create a variables. So come to local variable. I'm going to delete all the previous created variable. And starting from the scratch, create variable. So first we'll create the boolean. Switch off. So by default, switch off will be true. And then switch on. So it will be false. And next, we need a default value for this off. So for that, we'll take the string. So here it will be off and then we need to switching this to string variables which is like switch on and here we can give on and same another so here we can say off So now come to design and just little lighter. Okay, now I'm going to pass through the variable here. So this is switch off, which is by default on, and come to prototype interaction on click. And here 
condition so in condition we have to write while it is switch off equal to true then set variable switch off false so switch off is true we have to make it switch off false next add condition so here we have written for the switch off now we have to write for the switch on so switch on equal to false then we have to set variable switch on to true that's it and now I'm going to copy this interaction and paste it for this so just we have to make it change here like this is switch off so instead of switch off we have to say switch on so while switch on is true so we have to make it this as a switch on to false and here again in condition we can say this switch off instead of switch on and here also switch off instead of switch on now next this is already passed through so we have attached this variable and now next we are going to pass through this switch on so it will be get disabled because it is in false state now we are going to preview this so this is working fine but level is not getting impacted and color is not impacted so for that we have already given the interaction here just we have to add one more condition for text so condition once it is a false and it is getting true so what is happening here this is in true stage and the highlighted one is getting on means true so this is going to be changed as a on this text so for that we'll take the last one set variable switch on is true so if set variable switch on equal to true add action set variable so here we have to take on so how we can set the variable here so we have to pass through this instead of this we have to take the switch default value to switch on text now same we have to do for this we have to add the condition and here what is the last statement here switch off is true so switch off is true we have to take the switch off equal to true then add condition so here yeah now in add action we have to set variable switch default value to switch off now we'll present So it is not getting impacted here 
reason is this variable of the text we didn't set it so where we have to set select this you will get here apply variable so you have to select this switch default value so once we have selected the switch default value then it will impact here so it is getting on off on and off now the next color so for that we need to add the local variable here create variable color and here we can write switch default color so switch default color just we can take this from color picker so this is the default color now what we have to do just select this go to prototype click and add one condition so same we have to take the condition like a uh, switch on is true so here we'll take the switch on equal to true then add action set variable here is the switch default color which we are going to change to the different color which is green so next the same thing we can apply here also if it is required so before that we'll review this so it is not getting impacted till now reason again we have to select this and pass through here so how we'll do that this is the fill color right click go to library and select the switch default color now switch default color is active so it is going to change while we are tapping on the on and off so it is working fine so now the color is not getting changed because we didn't add the condition here so same way in prototype click and add here the same condition and say here so last condition was switch off is true so same will take switch off equal to true add action set variable switch default color and we have to change this or it will be same if you want to change you can change through the color picker overall this color is same so i'm taking this color only so now preview again so this is the off stage this is the on stage and it is getting changed we will see again so this is getting impacted this is fine and here so this is missed here so here we have to say off no preview again
so it is working absolutely fine so we have added some of the condition and we have learned here color variable the string variable and boolean variable along with this design how to pass the color variable how to set this through the library and it is getting switched and uh, the text so how to apply the local variable so clicking on this and then how to apply this pass through the layer to switch on so again we'll see these local variables so we have created here switch off which is true then switch on false and switch default value of switch on text so we have to take one of the default color here so we can switch the color and we have to take the one default value here so we can switch the text so instead of on and off if you want to add some label yes or no as per the use so by default we have to say no and then it will come yes no so we can use this in our prototype and this is little lengthy process but it is very fine because I think uh, the local variables whatever we have created we can edit here anytime instead of uh, creating two layers then we have to uh, add in component and different variant so how is the lesson please write on the comment thank you thank you very much